Welcome back. We begin this half hour with an update we have been waiting for involving a Phoenix couple mad about the city putting in a speed hump in the wrong place in their neighborhood. Yeah, you're about to see it's actually blocking their driveway on your sides. Gary Harper actually told us about this problem a couple months back and you've got an update for us tonight. Yeah, not only is it an eyesore, but can you imagine going in <laughs> and out of your driveway multiple times a day? You know, you got to go over the what thing and it's it's a huge mess. Not good on your car at all. That's when this Phoenix couple says they've been having to deal with for months now on your side initially got involved and the city said speed up was fine where it was. Leave it there. But after that news report, things changed. It's gone. Yes, it's gone. It was directly adjacent to this driveway. Monica and Jeremy Anchel are talking about an annoying speed hump that was recently removed from the front entrance of their driveway. Just hitting my car on the bottom of it was like a daily aggravation, right? And so now I'm like, ah, oh, so nice. In a previous On Your Side report, the Anshells explained how the city of Phoenix temporarily removed the existing speed hump as part of a street paving project at the same time that the Anshells were putting in a new driveway for their extended garage. The couple says the timing was perfect and claimed the city agreed verbally to reinstall the speed hump in another location instead of in front of their new driveway. Marked you can see where city inspectors even marked where the new speed hump would be reinstalled. I walked the street with them. They remarked the new location. So at that point, my husband and I were like, okay, this is great. They agree. It can't be put back in the original location. But when street maintenance was completed and that speed hump was to be reinstalled, the city put it in the exact same location. They agreed not to put it in front of the Angel's new driveway. On Your Side got involved and contacted the city of Phoenix, where street transportation officials defended the speed hump's placement, even though national and city guidelines say speed humps should not be installed in front of driveways. So On Your Side took the issue to City Hall, where City Councilwoman Deborah Stark who represents the couple's district, initially declined to get involved. However, after the On Your Side report aired, Stark's office had a change of heart and agreed to have the speed hump removed. Deborah Stark's office did get back involved, and I think they kind of led the charge to, to get the this, this city to take care of it. The councilwoman's chief of staff sent On Your Side a statement that reads, after reviewing the totality of the situation with the street transportation department, the department removed the speed hump with no cost to the residents. And with that, workers came back out and removed that speed hump. The end shall say it only happened with the help of On Your Side. Huge difference. I'm not sure we would have. I think we'd still have it here today without you guys. So thank you. Well, remember the city initially wanted the couple to pay $10,000 if just to have that speed hump taken out if they wanted it out. Of course, they did want it out, but they didn't think they'd have to pay $10,000 to get it out of there. Uh, that's after we got involved, and that's when they came back out, removed it, and it's at the city's expense, so these folks do not have to pay the $10,000. You know, come on, it was put in the wrong place to begin with. I mean, why should these homeowners have to, you know, pony up $10,000? So um, great resolution. I yeah. love this. They thought about it. They reconsidered their they position did. and they acted. It's uh, smooth. It's as if it never existed. Yeah, exactly. Thank goodness. The whole neighborhood is happy, yeah. I should say. It's just nice when I think city leaders listen and say, okay, yeah. let's, let's find a way to make everyone happy. Exactly. Here. Thank you, Gary.